Seems like it's almost impossible to find a site that doesn't use some kind of interactive media these days, whether it's music or games or video clips, whatever it is, a lot of them use Adobe Flash Player. And it's probably in your best interest to have the most updated version of that Adobe Flash Player. Now, let's go ahead and let's find a website that we know has to have Flash Player to work. And that's right, it is YouTube, isn't it? If you've ever looked at a video on YouTube, you probably want to have that Flash Player. In fact, right here on the home page, you'll see it says you need to upgrade your Adobe Flash Player to watch this video. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to click here to download it from Adobe. But before we do that, let's open up another tab and let's go and look for the Flash Player. And you're going to see a lot of places that will have it available to download. In fact, let me get down here a little bit. Download from CNET. Download from Software Patch. From File Hippo. Now, I'm not trying to disparage any of these websites. I'm sure they're all fine. But there are going to be, at times, some that uh, maybe are not so fine. Some that may have some malware attached to some of these file downloads. When you're dealing with something that's a known commodity like an Adobe download or Microsoft download, any kind of download, you always want to go to the horse's mouth. You want to go right to Adobe like this. I can click on there and you see I've got this page. Look at my address and I can see that it is indeed from Adobe.com. That's one way to do it. Or if there is a link on a site like YouTube, and again, YouTube is a pretty reputable site, I can go ahead and and you'll see it takes us here to the same page. We are still at adobe.com. Now, it's asking me, do I want to include the Google to Toolbar in my download? I'm going to say no. I will click Download Now. And in the past, you would have gotten the ActiveX security notification up here along the top edge of your browser. But in IE9, we now get the option to install or not at the bottom. And we're fine with this, the Download Manager from Adobe. We know it's okay. I'm going to click Install. There we go. My user account control. Do I want to install this? Yes, I do. I'll click on Yes. And there it is. Now, it's going to take a little time to... Well, maybe not. It's going pretty quick. So, I guess you can just wait here with me until we get this, where we will have to agree to the EULA. Click Install. Installation complete. Close the download manager. Look at that. Now, let's go ahead and let's get back to YouTube. And now we see, if you recall, before we just had a static ad. Now we're actually seeing this video clip. And that's how you download and install the Adobe Flash Player. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. For more information regarding our training videos, please visit www.trainsignal.com.